And we are told then that Jehu slays the descendants of Ahab. And in 1846, the great archaeologist Layard discovered in Iraq the black monument here, the black obelisk, that confirmed that the Bible had truth and basis in history. It is written on the black obelisk. I received tribute from Jehu, successor of Omri. Remember Jehu from the Bible. And here it is written. Jehu proves that the Bible had a historical basis. Now, it's also important to know what's going on at that very point in time. Very simply, Homer is writing the Odyssey and the Iliad, the Battle of Troy. And we're told in Kings that Jeroboam ascends to the throne. And here is the seal belonging to Shema, servant of Jeroboam. Servant means a servant of a king. This seal, luckily a cast was made of it, was discovered at Megiddo, but they were transporting it to Istanbul and it was lost. At the very same time, what is happening in the world? Rome is founded in 753 by Romulus and Ramus. We had seen that in the 9th century, that the Assyrians were very active and attacked the land of the Israelites. The period from 800 to 750, the first part of the 8th century, is a quiet period for the Assyrians. But around 750, they begin to reassert themselves and go on the offensive once again. And Tiglath-Pileser III, known as Paul in the Bible, attacks the northern tribes of Israel. And it is written in the Bible that Menachem gave Paul a thousand talents of silver. And Tiglath writes, I received tribute from Menachem of Samaria. And then we know the story of the ten lost tribes, the northern kingdom, the Israelite tribes. And the Assyrians come many times, and there are many battles. But here in Kings, again, Kings, 2 Kings 17, 3 to 6, describe, the, the destruction of the northern kingdom is described. And Tiglath Pileser writes, the wide land of Naphtali, one of the tribes, one of the most northern tribes, its entirety I brought within the border of Assyria, which means I conquered it.